Jetties and piers are convenient temporary moorings and provide you with the facilities to load and unload passengers and goods. Many are designed specifically for commercial vehicles or ferries, which are often on tight schedules, so it is important that you don't get in their way. Before approaching a jetty or pier, check the signage or local chart to ascertain whether you may moor there. If it is permissible, proceed as follows. Firstly, note the direction of the wind and tide. This will determine how your boat will lie in relationship to the jetty and any other vessels. Then select a safe position where you wish to moor. Advise your crew where it is. Tell them your intended direction of approach, to which side you want the bow and stern mooring lines attached, and which bollards you intend to use on the jetty. Remember that the lines must go under the safety rails. Put out the fenders on the side nearest the jetty. Approach the jetty slowly into the wind and or tide, whichever is stronger. Your angle of approach and speed through the water will depend on the strength of the wind or tide. Once you have the bow of your vessel in position, put your engine in neutral and turn the wheel to swing the stern back in towards the jetty, and then select reverse. As soon as your vessel ends up next to and parallel to the jetty, put your engine into neutral again while your crew makes fast. Tie up your lines both fore and aft. Then attach a springer line to help your boat sit more comfortably into the wind or tide. You might need to make some minor adjustments to the mooring lines to make it comfortable. Before you leave your boat, check the likely rise or fall of the tide while you're away and double check what time the tide will change. Practice makes perfect. It is wise to practice these manoeuvres with your crew in calm conditions so that when the wind or tide does get up, you've developed the skills and teamwork to cope with them. And remember that unlike a car, it is the stern, not the bow, that steers the boat.